Hello guys, welcome to another video from Digital Pages. In this video, you will be learning a very powerful tool that can be used for someone who wants to get an overview about a process or someone who's trying to keep a track of changes happening to your process or someone who's trying to redefine, redesign or automate an existing process. This tool puts the key details of a process in a simple table form. It starts with suppliers, then the inputs, process, output and customer. I've seen mostly in many of the projects, people use this particular template as a placeholder to just fill the slide for the sake of doing it. But it is quite simple if you know how to build it. Let me take an example from an assessment that I did to one of my client recently. We were looking at the possibility of automating a process end to end. So we tried to map the entire process at a very, very high level and I used copies quite successfully and this assessment came out really well. This case is taken from a procurement process assessment. In most of the organizations, when there is a demand to buy a material or a service, you have to work through the purchasing department. The person who raises the demand is called a requester or a requisitioner and the one who creates purchase order is a buyer and the order is sent to a supplier in the form of a purchase order. Now let's see how I used SIPOC to map this process. The process starts here when the buyer receives the requisition and the buyer prepares the request for quotation and send it to the suppliers. And the suppliers, once they respond, the buyer reviews the quotation and selects the right supplier. And the buyer prepares the purchase order. And the purchase order is then sent for approval. Once the purchase order is approved, it will be sent to the supplier. What are the inputs needed for this process? You need requisitions, quotes, email approval, and where does these come from? The requisitions come from ERP system or requesters. The FNA team and the category manager sends the email approval and the quotes are sent by the suppliers. What's the output of this process? A purchase order sent to the supplier is the output and who receives this output? The supplier receives the final purchase order and a requester gets the demand created as a purchase order and the finance and accounting gets an input for them to start doing the invoice processing work. So as a person who is doing the process assessment for an automation, I get to know the start of the process, the end of the process, what are the key inputs that I should be focusing on and what should be the output that's going to the customer and who receives the benefit and where does this demand come from. I hope you guys will like this video and make use of this fantastic tool. Please subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos.